Hi, I'm Brett Sawyer. I'm the chef and owner of the Plum Cafe and Kitchen here in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm a 2016 Star Chef's Rust Belt Rising Star. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a seared scallop with a ponzu tofu puree, a mirin vinaigrette, and butter toasted panko breadcrumbs using Kikoman products. Let's get started. We're gonna take our Thai chilies, cut these up, and seed them. Now, you're gonna to wanna to throw all your liquids into the blender first. It's gonna help you blend the chilies themselves. So right here we have a half cup of mirin from Kikoman. This stuff is amazing. Now we have the Kikoman rice and vinegar for a little acid. Some uh, fish sauce. It's a nice mild fish sauce. We'll throw in our chilies. So we'll start low. We'll get it going. Make sure that the chilies get chopped up a little bit. So we just emulsified our vinaigrette with a little bit of grapeseed oil. Give it a taste. Decide how much salt you need. About a teaspoon in this one. So that's our vinaigrette. Uh, we're gonna set that to the side and next we're gonna make our ponzu tofu puree. We're gonna use grapeseed oil, rice vinegar from Kikoman, salt to taste, one pound of tofu, the juice of one lime, two tablespoons of sugar, and the lime and the lemon ponzu. Now you can use a soft, a hard, or a medium tofu. I choose medium. It just kind of works out better that way. About a quarter cup of the rice vinegar, the juice of one lime, it was a huge lime, two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of the lime ponzu, and three tablespoons of the lemon ponzu. Now, once you get everything in the blender, we're gonna take our grapeseed oil and we're gonna just turn it on, we're gonna start low, we're gonna turn it up to a medium high and we're gonna emulsify with the grapeseed oil. The consistency that you want for your puree is somewhere between a uh, homemade aioli and mayonnaise. Next, we're gonna make our butter toasted panko uh, breadcrumbs. We're gonna start with a room temperature butter. We're gonna use about two tablespoons. We're gonna keep it on a medium to low heat. You're gonna take a cup of Kikoman panko breadcrumbs, pour it into the pan, and you want a nice golden brown toast on this. Once the breadcrumbs are toasted, go ahead and add a little salt, a little bit of black pepper to your liking. Mix that in, and there you have it. So the next thing we're gonna do is sear our scallops. You wanna turn your stove on high, coat the bottom of the pan with oil. You're gonna season your scallops with salt. I only use salt, no pepper. Pepper burns, especially when you're searing. Be very careful putting the scallop in the oil. Uh, you don't want any of the moisture to light your pan on fire. Once you get a nice, thick, Crust. We're going to flip the scallop. We're going to take our butter, same stuff we used before, room temperature, about a tablespoon. Throw it in the pan. Put it behind your scallop, tip your pan, and just baste. This is going to finish cooking your scallop. It's going to heat it through as well as get all the sides. It'll give it a nice, even cook. Now we're going to plate our dish. We're gonna start with the ponzu tofu puree. Get a nice little dollop of sauce on the plate. Take your scallop, put it right in the center. We're gonna make a salad with some watercress, micro radish, a little bit of fresh icicle radish. We'll just grate that right in there. Take our vinaigrette made with mirin and chilies. Dress the salad. Take your salad, kind of put it off to the side there. And then we're gonna take our toasted breadcrumbs to add a little bit of texture to everything. Here's our seared scallop with salted mirin vinaigrette, ponzu tofu puree, and toasted panko breadcrumbs from our friends at Kikoman.